the MEIC, or we pronounce as DAHMEI, this is systematic problem solving procedure used in process and quality improvement. It is a very simple yet powerful technique that frequently used for project management to improve process structure and better investigate potential solution. In the MAIC, there has five key phases, which is D is defined, defined using SIPOC diagram to show the process under investigation, which is S is supplier, I is input, P is process, O is output, and C is control. The next one is M, which is measure, it's collect relevant data to describe current situations. A is analy analyze, investigate and verify the cause and effects. I is improve, addressing type of variation within a process performance. C is control, improve process and future process performance. The issue in this topic is a multi-billion dollar software manufacturer a need to drive down the $191 million to a cost of supplying workers um, with continuous updated workstations. Uh, both software manufacturer and its primary supplier are taking costs, cutting initiative by targeting to save $12 million at the first year using DMI technology. To define the problem, manufacturer and vendor disagree that over the costs of varying in workstation uh, and delivery times, so some hypotheses have been done. Uh, first hypothesis related metric or stands for no static methods used for a reason of varying cost. The second hypothesis standardized workstation system are acceptable solution for knowledge worker. Uh, third hypothesis uh, is current compensation scheme created previous incentive that lead to wasted resources and the last hypothesis is vendor cost already bare bones and was like little room to improve due to incredible pure uh, pure breakthrough. To measure, manager joins the master black belts competition training season for data collection, uh, designed experiments and data mining provided to technical support staff and analyze uh, difference between statistics and economy become obvious across the board uh, numerous pattern in one two and three dimension use in new insight of um, bit through for the improved points uh, managers can daily use the significance of the results and magnitude of data mining and analyze process also uh, high skill and relational data programmer receive one to one uh, three hour training season from Black Master Bab. The next point is control. Uh, programmer link the relational database uh, key metrics between vendor and software manufacturer by uh, using macros and visual, visual basic programming of um, a one click system. As the financial result, proprietary restriction prevent open sharing for as and to cause achieve but seem apparent to casual observer that initial goal of reducing cost by twelve million dollars easily to be exceed. The amount of time for Black Master Bell consulting project was only five days. The Mike case study improving business service system availability for the route management company. So this environmental service company provides collection, processing, recycling and disposal of hazardous and non-hazardous materials for industrial and automotive customers. The route management team used TMS or is called transport management system to optimize routing service between customers in a territory. First, define the service representative and the field force are most affected by system unavailability and downtime as primary of the user system. The branch ops team plays an important role in resolving functional issues quickly and informing it about technical defects. IT, in association with branch ops and service representative together define the problem areas as the slowness of the TMS and poor system availability. So the next one, so the next one is measure. Branch personnel report defects in a defect tracking system which then are route through branch ops to IT. 
poor system availability, the system slow down or stall at random times throughout the work week. Field personnel were unable to update their tasks or sync data with the host system. SQL trace, functionally a way to record information about a software program's execution. So the next one is analyze. For the poor system availability, it was suggested that implementing a more sophisticated load balancing technique between the servers may help to improve system st stability, reduce the load on the existing servers, and prevent user requests from getting bottleneck. For the resolution time of defects, slow response times were addressed with the following issues as cause for delays. Uh, it don't have technical knowledge or access right to resolve issues in the TMS. Some incidents were allowed directly to IT without being vetted by the branch ops group. Then, about the improve, for the poor system availability among the TMS servers, the more robust load balancing system was implemented. The request to the servers could be processed in order which they were received. For the resolution time of defects, several steps were taken to reduce the resolution time of reported software issues that are technical knowledge and documentation, increase system access, and vetting the of defect reports. So, the final is control. For the poor system availability, the number of reports of system downtime was carefully monitored after implementing the new load balancing technique. Several scheduled tasks were executed on a timely basis to proactively prevent the occurrence of server downtime. For the resolution time of defects, the resolution time of defects was monitored. IT assigned the nature of report issues and monitored the verbiage of the issue. In a nutshell, the business outcome is, these easy and simple steps increase the availability and reliability of the TMS. Productivity of the system increased significantly. In reports of system downtime, there was a 98% decrease. Then, the TMS satisfaction and acceptance increased tremendously. This branch and field personnel no longer worry about the system availability and data inconsistency as a result of this project. In Six Sigma in HR Administration Service Industry. HR Administration is the return on investment from an organization's human capital. HR Management is the strategic approach to the management of the of people to, that contribute to the achievement of the objective of the business. Examples of potential Six Sigma projects in the HR function are one is reduction of employee turnover, reduction in time and cost to hire a new employee, reduction in training costs, reduction in cost of managing employees, separation, reduction in admin administrative defects, reduction in queries from the employee population to the HR department. <coughs> it is important for the HR function to do this thing because it needs to perform better, faster and more cheaply to keep the company ahead of the competition and be able to satisfy ever increasing customer expectation. It is also more cost effective and streamline HR process will create value for the organization instead of just being a support ad for management. Next is Six Sigma in manufacturing. The example uh, application for manufacturing is rubber glove manufacturing process. Rubber glove industry is expected to continue continue growing to the increasing healthcare awareness in emerging markets, especially in Latin American countries, China and India. As a result, it is of importance for organizations in this industry to improve their manufacturing process and achieve a level of quality that not only satisfies but also assists the expectation of their customers. The gloves manufacturing process and particularly the process studied and investigated in this paper are generally comprised of seven steps. Which first? Step one, raw material testing. Raw material testing is important as it prevents the production of out of specification of products from which unnecessary expenses can be created. Step two, compounding this stage of the process consists of dispersion. Step three, dipping in order to form the glove by using glove molds and dipping process required. Step 4 is leaching and vulcanizing. Vulcanization. Step 5 is stripping and tumbling. After 
the leech glove are deep into a closely pulled control wet slowly tank to pull up bacteria and protein coating. The glove are finally stripped from the formats with auto stripping lines. Step 6 is the quality control. The quality control process is performed by render sampling after all products have been finished. The products are inspected by several methods. The conclusion is that my methodology acts as a roadmap for companies to identify answers and improve performance. Companies must educate their employees to undertake DAMI because projects chosen for DAMI implementation must justify the expenditure of money, time, and effort. DAMI can help organizations achieve huge profit if DAMI being done correctly and effectively.